Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Uh, today is my 49th birthday. <laughs> yeah, today is my birthday. Today is my last birthday in my 40s. This time next year, I will be turning 50 years old. Oh, my goodness, I will be 50 in one year. That is just unbelievable to me. Like, I can't even believe that I will be 50. It just seems like yesterday I was graduating high school and that was a long time ago. <laughs> but anyway, so today, um, I'm actually going to get my nails done today because I canceled my appointment yesterday and rescheduled it for today because yesterday took my mom to the doctor and um everything went really well she didn't go to like a doctor she she went to go get blood work done and went to go have an echocardiogram done so she had like an ultrasound done of her heart and then she had to go get blood work done and then she will go to the doctor next wednesday which i will take her to that again or i will take her again to the doctor i will take her then whatever um anyway so i will be um taking her to the real doctor next week yesterday wasn't a doctor yesterday was just blood work and echo um but it was just nice still spending time with my mom i actually enjoyed it i got to her house about 9 30 quarter to 10 and um just kind of visited with her for a little bit and um then she was getting ready for the you know blood work so we had to leave but um prior to that though we she had to go pay some bills and of course she still can't drive so I drove her to go take care of all, some of that business and um you know water bill all that good stuff anyway so we did that and then by the time we were finished with that it was time to go to the hospital to have her lab work done and all that good stuff so that's what we did and then um she had a list of things that she needed me to pick up at Walmart. So on our way back, we stopped at, at Walmart. She did not go in with me. I did try to get her to go in with me. And I said, Mama, you could use one of those, you know, scooter things around Walmart. And, and you know, you could have fun. Just follow me around. She's like, I am not getting on one of those scooters. I am just fine. <laughs> so anyway, so she she didn't go in she just sat in the car which is fine um so i went in really really quick and grabbed a few things that she had on her list and then uh, we went to taco bell really quick and grabbed a bite to eat because we were both starving and then um and then i went back to her house and we ate and um then i came home i didn't get home till about five o'clock last night <clears throat> so um, but it was a very long day but it was a, a, a very nice enjoyable day obviously my mom is just like She's still in like shock and awe that she's, you know, carrying oxygen around, you know, right now. And then I, you know, had to put her in a wheelchair from the car to take her up to the, you know, hospital and all that good stuff. And she, I said, I've, you know, never in my, my, my wildest dreams, never in my imagination did I ever, ever think that I would have to be pushing my mom around in a wheelchair. I mean, that just, again, never was never a thought um but here we are and uh, we had to do that yesterday and never thought my mom would be on oxygen but she is bless her heart um she's getting so much better though she really really is every single day is like a, a new day for her um her legs still try to give out on her so she gets very very weak still so she she doesn't have her strength up yet um she does have a physical therapist coming in i think she said twice a week and um so they're coming in and working with her too trying to build her strength and all that good stuff but she did she wasn't supposed to but she did manage to shower yesterday without anybody there but we got onto her for that because she's not supposed to do that because she gets super tired standing up in the shower even though she has a chair that she can sit in like one of those little benches or whatever that she can sit in in her shower um she just feels like she needs to stand up like mom sit down take a break it's okay but anyway so when she told me that she took a shower by herself i'm like mom that was the whole point of me coming early so i could sit there with you you know while you're in the shower i can sit in your bedroom and just wait for you and hear if you holler or need anything but no 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 stubborn old woman i think she just wants to she just wants to be herself you know what i mean and i know it's so hard it's so difficult to not have that and and want to be 
you know, normal again. Um, she said, I, I just want to cook. I want to bake. I want to get back in my kitchen. I want to do all this stuff. And she can't right now because she's on oxygen, so she can't get near the stove. So, uh, it's just been, it's been crazy. But like I said, I think every day is getting better and every single day she's getting stronger. So, um, so yeah, but anyway, that's the update on my mom. Hopefully we'll have more, you know, a better update like next Wednesday. Um, we're again checking her lungs to see she still hurts when she coughs but I think that might just be like you know um, muscly I'm hoping that it's just a muscle thing and not anything else serious so um, but the, uh, the echocardiogram and hopefully next week we'll get some x-rays done too and um, they can give us a, a another update like on her lungs and everything so um, but today I'm gonna get my nails done first I'm going to Starbucks to get my birthday reward um, and then I'm gonna head over here to the nail salon and get my nails done and then I'm gonna head back home and I'm gonna start um, cleaning again doing laundry I need to sweep the kitchen floor and then my main thing today my main focus today is is to get the Valentine's stuff um, decorations put away. So I wanna get all of those things put away. So that is my main goal for today. And then Brian and I have reservations at Connor's Steakhouse over on Bridge Street um, for dinner tonight. So I'm excited about that. So, um, you know, I'm going to try to get as much done as I possibly can at home today. Um, and then, of course, shower and get myself ready for our um, my birthday dinner for tonight. So, right now, headed to Starbucks. And uh, I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. Alrighty, so I'm sitting here waiting for the nail place to open up. I got my birthday Starbucks. Yay! And, uh... I, when I got my car this morning, it wouldn't start because it, it said uh, key fob not found. And I'm like, why, where, where's my key at? Because I always keep it in my purse and I always keep it in this thing. This is just a small little like Victoria's Secret like zipper thing where you could put like change or little lipstick or whatever. But anyway, I've had this thing for years. But this is where I always used to keep my key for my Kia. And um, when I got this, I just put the new key in here. So this is the key that I always carry around with me. And I keep a couple bucks in here too, just in case you ever need just like an extra couple of bucks anywhere for an emergency or whatever, nonetheless. So anyway, yesterday when I got out of the car to go to Walmart, I gave my mom the key. Um, that way um, she could, if she had to do anything, she could, she would be able to move the car, which she didn't need to. It was just one of those things where you just think about weird things. It's like, okay. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, I left my mom the key and then I drove home yesterday from her house and this morning when I got in the car, my car wouldn't start because it said it could not find the key. So I had to go and get the extra key that I had to, in order to start the car this morning. So funny thing, on the way, after I got Starbucks, I called my mom on the way back and I said, hey, um, what did you do with the key that you were holding on to when I went into the Walmart? She goes, oh, she goes, I think I laid it beside me you know in the in the seat here and I said okay I'm like because obviously I got home yesterday so that was a, a thing I had to get home yesterday from her house with the key um, my car wouldn't start or go anywhere without it and she just like checked her she checked her um coat just in case but no it wasn't there so I said well when I get back when I park at the nail place I said I'm gonna get out of the car I said I'm gonna look in the back seat and see if it's back there sure enough this was back there in the floorboard and why did my car start <laughs> like this was in the car it should have started with this in the car maybe and I'm just thinking maybe I didn't have my foot all the way on the brake I don't know nonetheless it didn't start so I was freaking out because I'm like okay this is a Mercedes key I don't know how much it is to get a new key let's hope I don't I haven't lost this because I need this key so anyway nonetheless the key fiasco is is over and we found the key so I know that was a long story and I, I just wanted to share that with you guys while I waited for the doors to open at the nail salon. So anyway, <laughs> funny. These are very important. You have to have these keys in order to start your car. You can't like not have keys anymore. Well, you always had to have keys, but anyway, nonetheless, these are very important. Keys are very important. Moral of the day, keys are important to go anywhere in your car. <laughs> 
Alrighty guys, so I am back home from getting my nails done. I ran to Publix really quick because I had a, a small list of things that I needed to pick up at uh, Publix while I was out. I needed to pick up some milk, Brian needed some yogurt, um, just some small little things that we needed in the house. Um, <clears throat> I picked up some of those jalapeno poppers or jalapeno peppers um, to pop in the oven and I did that and I just ate them and they're so freaking good. Um, but I also threw some stuff in the washing machine and I think that's almost done. I'm gonna throw it in the dryer really quick. Excuse me. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to um, empty the dishwasher and I'm going to do these few little dishes that are like here in the sink and on the counter. Um, so I'm gonna put those in the dishwasher and um, I did sweep the floor a little bit. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna be like in, in search for a, a vacuum cleaner, just like a small vacuum cleaner that I can use to just vacuum these rugs. Um, I feel like my big vacuum cleaner is just too big for it, and then my other one that I just have a handle for, that one doesn't work for like these. So I just kind of need just like a small, maybe even like a battery operated vacuum or something that I can use just to vacuum up just my little like my rugs here in the kitchen so I'm gonna be on the lookout for one of those my mom had one and I used it yesterday but I didn't like the way you have to like take it apart oh that's not done yet um that you kind of have to take it apart and put it like together and stuff it was just a weird one I didn't like it but I did like the fact that it swiveled and it swiveled really really nicely like all over the place and kind of got all in the little nooks and crannies but I'm gonna try to find one um but yeah so because that's not done yet it's got about 10-15 minutes left on the timer I'm gonna do the kitchen really quick and then I'm gonna make up my bed and then that way I, my bed is made for when I have to do the clothes I need to try and find my tripod so I can set it up in here in the kitchen and then we're gonna get cleaning so yeah let's get this kitchen done
So I have cleared out all of the Valentine stuff throughout my kitchen and that's pretty much where I just kind of kept everything was in the kitchen this year. Um, so basically what I'm going to do probably not today because I need to go uh, make up my bed and take those towels out of the dryer, fold those and put the clothes in the, in the dryer there in the washing machine. So I'm going to leave this stuff here today. This is actually a good step for me. This is where I wanted to kind of be today with getting all of the Valentine stuff at least in a little pile. Um, so tomorrow I will focus on putting all of this stuff away and getting the totes out and um, putting the stuff that needs to go in the totes in the totes and bring those back upstairs. Some of this stuff stays down here, like in my little hutch over here and in my um, butler's pantry over there. But like all the like little wooden things, those get put in totes. So I will put all of those in totes tomorrow, which would be great. And then I will slowly start bringing out some Easter stuff. I'm not gonna go, I don't think a lot of crazy with the Easter stuff again this year. I think I'm just gonna do it in the kitchen, like I had said before. And I also thought that I might um, take that chicken wire basket that I have sitting over here, that one. You guys know that I always decorate that one up. Thinking about moving that and putting it over on the hutch over here. Not sure yet. I'm going to play around with it and see how that goes. But that's going to all be tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow's video is going to be putting this stuff away. I'm going to wipe down all the cab on the counters in the kitchen as well. Because I want to kind of get that nice and fresh as well before um, I bring out all of the Easter stuff. Um, but now I'm going to go make up that bed and fold up some towels and get that stuff done. So let's go do that. I'm so happy I got this stuff done though. Thumbs up, thumbs up. with Brian's mom for a little while earlier so I really didn't get um, I didn't like film me folding up the towels or anything um, and I did have a few clothes I don't even know what I did with them oh I threw them on top of the dryer because <laughs> I didn't even like fold those ones at either and then I sat down for a second <laughs> it's just been one of those afternoons but um, I'm actually going to go take a shower and get myself ready for um, our dinner this evening. So that is what I'm going to go do. I can't believe that I, um, yeah, it's just been one of those afternoons. That's all. Okay, getting myself together to go to dinner tonight for my birthday. Alrighty, so I am ready and fully dressed. Um, oh, that's so funny. Okay, I was just thinking of Annie. You're never fully dressed without a smile. Did you ever hear like that movie, Annie, the original one? You're never fully dressed? Okay, anyway, never mind. Um, I just had that remembrance of that song. Anyway, so I have um, a sweater just like this in that ivory, and this is what I wore um, when we boarded the cruise ship the other day, and I absolutely loved this sweater, so I ordered a black one. Hmm. <laughs> And it came in while we were gone. So I washed it up, hung it up, let it dry, and now I'm wearing it today. And uh, it just looks, oh, that's my skin through there. I keep thinking there's something on there. It's my skin. Duh. Um, anyway, I just want to show you guys what I am wearing. Of course, I'm always wearing my jeans because I absolutely love my jeans. So these are my nice little Walmart jeans that I love so much. And then I have my little sweater. I have it like tucked a little bit. And uh, yeah, so this is what I'm wearing today. I got to go find my shoes. And yeah, super cute. Brian's going to wear jeans and a black shirt as well. Um, I actually have my little earrings in that I got from Cracker Barrel. I absolutely love these. I got these in Virginia when we were there for 
um, Thanksgiving. And I'm gonna switch out purses. Ooh, which I need to go get my purse. So I'm gonna switch out purses. And I'm not gonna use my Ivory Coach one, but I am going to use, hold please. But I am going to use a black one. So I think I'm just gonna kinda go with the small little black one. So I think I'm just gonna do this one. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch it out and put this one in. As long as the um, crossbody is long enough, then I will do this one. All right, so we're done eating, and we're gonna go check out this new place that they have here called Main Event. You can eat, bowl, and play here. So we're gonna go check it out. Oh, wow, oh my God. That's huge. Look at this little play thing here. That's cool. So bowling, up to five people per hour is 22. Here's all the prices. Laser tag, billiards, gravity ropes, and a multi-ball. Laser tag. Wow. I want this. Look at this big old Sunday. Holy cow. That's huge. So they have like bowling here. This is really fun. We haven't been bowling in like forever. I love bowling. It's so fun. And then over here there's like a bunch of places where you can sit, where you can get food. All kinds of food and stuff back there. And then there's a bar right behind me. Look at the bar. Like a bar? The whole bar and everything? Wow. Wow. We have like cool motorcycle ride game. That's awesome. That is so cool. So I went ahead and purchased the cheapest card you can get, which is $25 for 140 credits because all of these games use credits and I'll show you what I mean. So we'll go over here to this one. See like right here where it says 7.5 credits. So it'll take it off of this. So awesome. I'm gonna play me some games. I know Brian wanted to play too. So we're gonna play some games while we're here. How fun is that? I wanted to play ski ball, but he had to go to the bathroom. So I'll wait for him to be done with this, this thing, air thingy. But I don't know what to play now. I'm so excited, I wanna play something. Okay, I wanted to play this. So this is called Quick Drop. And uh, so what do you do here? So I guess you just, you just slide your card or, oh, maybe you do this. Okay, so it lit up. So you have to like. Okay, maybe not. So what do you do? Just let, let it sit in here? I have no clue if I'm playing, if I'm doing this right. Okay, so press the fast button. I'm pressing something. I'm pressing, but it's not playing. It's not working. It says swipe card. I already did. That is so weird. Okay, I don't know why it's not working. I'm gonna try this one more time because I don't know if I did it right. No, it's still not doing it. Still not working. Okay, well that's not good. That's not fun. Insert card. Oh, enter card. So you just enter your card. I don't know, share the fun. Oh. I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, I think you leave it in there. Insert card. I don't know, we'll see. Nope, still didn't work. I don't know. Okay, so I figured it out. I was doing it wrong, so we're gonna slide it this way. Ah, there we go. All right, good deal. So let me uh, put my thing in my pocket here. So ready? 
Whoa, I win. What does that mean? 30 prize points. Share. So how do I get my prize? Oh, that's fun. Freaking kidding me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, that was it. Wow. You like spanked me. <laughs> wow, I got nothing. You got seven. <laughs>
Alrighty, so that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed my evening celebrating my 49th birthday. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today or with me today and then us this evening while we played um, air hockey. And um, Brian kicked my butt. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed your day. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey, I don't get what this is